welcome to the channel. Um, well, I've been out to a couple of dealers uh, yesterday, uh, braving the elements because it was really bad the weather. <clears throat> I went to one dealer uh, that I know <clears throat> who used to work for another large dealership and set upon his own a few years ago, uh, trading, you know, good used Taurus. Um, now I was going to go and do a video there but in the end he was too busy and, and that was it. So I really wasted about an hour and a half there really. Um, so I ended up going up to, I thought, well, shall I go now? It's time's marching on. And I ended up going up to um, one of my dealers I've been going for for many, many years. And that's Stuart Longton Caravans at Stump Lane at Chorley. I uh, hadn't been there for about 12 months. <clears throat> so it's time to pay a visit. Um, the sun was shining and then the clouds came and it absolutely hammered it down. Again, I was going to do a video run out of time, it was too wet, just couldn't do anything. But what I did do, I used my time for practical car and doing a used buy uh, and also for uh, used buys that I now do for um, um, camper vans for sale on their website. So if you check out on their website, you'll find my used uh, vans on there. Also, <clears throat> I had a chat with some of the guys that have been there for many, many years and I'd had a look on the way down to the to the main office at the new stock and there was some big discounting going on swift elegances were up to four thousand pounds off near enough um down to sprites at six to seven hundred pounds off sort of thing like the compact uh plus flight things like um uh, an awning thrown in as well i looked at the used stock and there was very little in the way of any discounting in fact there was no discount on the used stock um, stock levels were, were okay, I would, wouldn't say I've, they were in abundance like I'd seen them in years gone by. Um, but the stock they had was good stock. And I was saying to the guys, look, you know, what's, how's it happening, what's happening? I said, you stuff's going really well. And luckily they have a source where they can get some new stock. Uh, but the new stuff is not going particularly well and this is what we've been saying and I've just been checking this morning on Caravan Finder now I use uh, Caravan Finder quite a bit uh, because it's quite handy for me to look at prices and things especially when I'm doing me use buys in, in practical caravan um, it, it, I can get a good average price Glasses Guide went a bit squiff uh, a while ago with Covid the price all went through the roof and it just meant nothing really. Now things, uh, Glasses Guide have adjusted prices correctly down. Trouble is, of course, there's been a big knock-on effect with, with the prices we said. But, um, when you've seen 2024 vans with three or four grand off, that's not a good sign. And it is you know, just trawling through, um, through Cam and Finder. Uh, that I found some discounted stuff on brand new 2023s that still left uh, up to £5,000 off a coachman. Um, so there's money being knocked off there. So what I'm saying to you is really, if you are in the market for a new van, you're lucky enough to be able to have one, um, have a look around, see what discounts are going to be because I'll tell you something now, um, it's pretty strong on the discounts. Uh, there's movers being fitted, of course, the usual general thing. But, um, you know, it just doesn't bear, bode well uh, at the moment when they're doing a lot of discounts. Now, I heard a bit of a rumour about Eldis yesterday, uh, and I'm not going to say anything about that rumour, because uh, I don't know if it's true. Um, and I don't really want to, <laughs> sorry to sort of tease you with it, but um, I'll have to find out more. Um, it was a rumour and I don't quite believe it personally but um, sometimes these rumours go around in the industry like any industry uh, uh, about a certain manufacturers um, all that I know about Eldis is that they are having a big revamp for 2025 which I've mentioned that before so expect uh, some big changes um, I know the affinity range I've heard is going to go 8 wide uh, still a bit against eight wide vans. Um, I think there's going to be could be a bit of a glut of them. Um, there, you know, uh, a lot of people going on CL sites now 
to, to avoid the costs of her uh, of some of the bigger uh, sites and that means restricted access an eight foot wide could prove a major problem so there's there's that um, but I was really amazed at having a chat with them and they were just sort of saying that you know there's going to be further discounting and um, I spoke to another dealer friend of mine and he was saying that sales have been very sort of up and down and uh, on new and uh, he said like the weather the weather is making a big and I've spoken to another couple of dealer friends and they've said yes the weather is definitely not doing anybody any good at all and let's face it it's damned awful weather it's just bloody wet it's cold it's just been a very 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 wet um, year so far I mean even even the wind the back end of the winter has been very wet I know my garden is absolutely soaked and I've got I put drains in a few years ago and that cured it but there's been so much rain even the drains can't cope uh, so that's been a you know that's an indicator to me how wet it's been but this obviously puts people off um, you know when the sun's out people get in the mood and you know if they've got some money to spend then they'll go and look at a new Torah or a new motorhome and I've been told motorhome sales now are levelling off um, and again, I got some more info yesterday about how uh, most home prices have been way overinflated, which I think we know that. And also, I mean, um, when there was demand for caravans was, and a lot of you have been coming on to me and saying, you know, well, it serves a lot of these people right. And yes, where people have been very greedy, um, I agree. Um, because if you've got the vision to look you know that if you're going to start ripping anybody off if you want to call it ripping off that's maybe that's a strong word i don't know maybe you know you you guys tell me um you know it will come to bite you uh bite you on the backside uh, eventually uh, people don't forget and i think if you've been fair with people i think you'll always get people coming back but there's generally a downturn in new caravan sales so i've been looking today to say on caravan finder and there's generally uh, across the board, not just uh, Swifts and coaches, there's Baileys out there getting discounted, um, uh, Adrias, although they're sort of not advertising that fact. But if you went to an Adria dealer, you would get some money knocked off uh, without any problem, I'm sure. And uh, I think you're going to find that with the motorhomes as well. And I think this is a very sort of strange time. This reminds me back. Uh, in the early 90s uh, when there was a bit of a, a slowdown then and um, you know uh, there was a bit of a, a the economic situation wasn't looking brilliant but the trouble is today we've got the Ukraine thing we've got the thing in with the uh, in Gaza it's all just in and 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 we're still struggling after Covid there's no doubt about it it's still companies that still still only just recovering so you've got all this sort of thing the energy costs it's an absolute perfect storm for 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 a disaster really to put people off on buying a, a new luxury item such as a caravan or a motor home, or even indeed a holiday home um, and let's not forget them because the holiday home side of things has seen a big major impact on sales um, and the, the problem with those guys was uh, they were waiting for supplies customers were backing up they were told 2024, people waiting having to wait two years. But of course, a lot happened in that space of time. Uh, the COVID thing went and all of a sudden people who were waiting for a, a holiday home said, you know what, we're fed up, we can go, we can nip abroad, we just cancel that order. And a lot of the manufacturers are geared up for extra capacity in the static, if you want to call it that market. And there was and there's a lot of unsold 2023 models around again now we'll start looking for some discounting on that so when you go in the parks uh, park owners will be offering some discount and probably some um, uh, pitch fees thrown in some decking that sort of thing so do go and do your homework now i know a guy who does park sorry diversity from the tours here, who does park home law and um, I'm hoping that he's going to appear on the channel. Um, he's just a bit of a hard guy to grab at the moment because he's always busy doing something. He does other things, but he does specialise in part law. And I'm do I've done a little bit of work for him. Um, and 
what he what he, what he advises his people really it's like buying a house you know find out the the licensing lords on the site it may be on 52 weeks so that means say you can't live on there although policing that isn't going to be easy um also the fact is that you've got planning you know where your your park home is 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 it's got planning permission there um i don't know if anybody watched the i think it was the panorama thing uh, a couple of weeks ago about the park home ripoff thing and what can i say yes we know like any business there's always somebody who doesn't really follow the guidelines but there are some good park owners out there i do know some really good park owners who will sort of do the best uh to help the uh, person on the park um and also when it comes to selling the unit again you know they'll they'll do what they can and there's those that uh no that you know they are pretty scrupulous and they will give you very little back for what you paid um and that puts people off and i think something needs to be put into force i don't know how you do it i don't know how you police it um to make sure that people had a set price on their park home or or holiday home you know static how on and they got that price when it came to selling it you know they got a certain percentage because there's so many fluctuations around it's it's just untrue um but going back onto the tours again uh, as i say i did feel that the uh used market is still quite buoyant uh especially the cheap end now i was talking to this this guy that i first went to see yesterday and he does a lot of cheaper end vans and he brought in do you remember what I was telling you about the exports out to places like New Zealand um, and he got um, uh, an Olympus Mark II Olympus in I think it was a 534 it was a fixed bed and um, had everything with it um, because the people that bought it they bought it a few years ago decided they weren't going to use it and sold it and um, this van was it was looking all right. The floors are okay on it because, as we know, Bailey's do have problems with rotting floors. Because uh, <clears throat> when they leak, you don't see it because it's composite material that they use. We use wood frame, and it's GRP um, sh uh, interior wallboard uh, and the GRP obviously outside. Um, you don't see the rain. It doesn't mark up like it would do on a conventional Torah. So the water's going down there and it then gets into the floor and it just rots the floor to bits. So a lot of Baileys get their floors checked straight away. And if you've got a Bailey of a few years old, I'd, I'd just do that just to be on the safe side because it can become a, an expensive repair. So best to nip it in the bud while you can. Um, but any dealer will probably check that if you take your uh, certain age of a Bailey in. But anyway, um, what I was saying... Um, yes, there's, there's. I mean, there's other obviously other problems, but this this van, um, it just. I mean, it was sound. It just needs a good clean up on the outside. The the, the it was aluminium side panels. Hadn't gone GRP then, Bailey on the Olymp uh, on that Olympus uh, at that time. Um, it was a 2012 model. I don't know how much it was going for, but it was off to New Zealand. And I said, well, what's what's the score with this? And he said, well. He said they've gone up by a grand to transport them out to New Zealand. Gone up a thousand pounds, and um, he said, but he said there's still he said demand has dropped out there. But he says there still is that demand for for UK used tourists. So there is still dealers dealing out to New Zealand. Um, again, you know what effect that will have long term on our used market. Uh, remains to be seen because obviously there's not the cannons being produced as there was 10 15 years ago uh, and one's going out the country and obviously ones that get written off and all that business it's got to make a bit of an inroad now he was telling me family vans 10 12 grand um up to that sort of price range in decent condition he says and, and fairly lightweight he says it will fly they will go um and he was saying that some people have actually gone and bought a used van instead of going back in a brand new van because they've been put off with what they've heard on social media and there's, there is a lot of that and I get a lot of you people coming on and telling me 
uh, about how bad an experience you've had with your van. And I wish it was the other way around. I wish you would tell me what a fantastic van it was and everything. Um, and it's not good. It's not good at all. And I think the manufacturers have really got to sort to, to really look at this uh, because, um, you know, uh, I mean, if somebody on the other day and they've got a 2018 Conqueror, it's on the comments, you can see it. And he said he's had problems with it and it's put him off buying another new van. And that's a real, real shame. Shouldn't be happening. But anyway, um, next thing is, um, we should have to see how the market's going to go. It's, it's the weather over Easter. Deals tell me he usually gets a good Easter. He's opening all the four days uh, on the Sunday as well. So he says we've got a good weekend. He said last year he said we did about 20 odd vans over four days. Uh, he says this year, he says we hope to be as busy, so we shall see. But um, I've got, um, just going on to reviews again, I will be doing about some reviews, and I've got a Coachman uh, 2017 Pastiche, I think 520, that's going to go on the, to the channel, hopefully the next two couple of days. Um, that was a really nice van, that was at my local deal at Westfield Caravans, um, just outside of Blackpool, and it was a really nice van and it obviously been really well looked after and what actually was quite amazing was that the the tape that they use on the panels on the inside of the wallboard looked like that had been replaced with a very very thin tape which looked a lot better i thought uh, because people like coachman and elders still use that type of finish uh, i mean it's like that on my bailey but strangely enough mine still like the day it was put on um it's not peeled off at all uh, the only thing I've noticed on the range, I went in it yesterday, uh, just to sort of get try and air it out a little bit. I mean, it's absolutely needing a real good going over. It's just dusty as anything, dusty on the outside, dusty on the inside, because I leave vents open to let air get through. Um, and um, the um, strip that's around the aperture of the like the uh, the washroom door, that was all starting to come away. And uh, I was looking at a Lunar Eva yesterday for practical, and that's 2016, and that was coming again away on the um, on the lockers. Uh, so it's something that's quite common. You see quite a bit actually happening. Um, and I sort of tapped ours back um, and see how it goes. <laughs> but the rest of it's fine. Uh, obviously, it's under cover, so it's out of the way. But um, I'll be showing you a quick. Um, little video thing I've done for a guy, guy in Norway I think it is, Gur he's called and he's done a, a book on the history of camping and uh, in Norway, uh, car well motorhoming more than anything I think, but he picked up some of the books uh, that I've done, got very interested, got through the Camping Caravan Club, Camping Caravan Club gave him, contacted me, would I be happy enough to, to have a, a bit of an interview with him um and my photograph and everything so i said yeah not a problem and he was going to feature the book he bought the book the i think it was this one actually here the uh motorhome story which has been a quite a good little selling book um i signed one of these at the uh caravan show at the nec last month so if you did buy that book and it's signed by me i did it on i think it was on the the last day of the show if you didn't get by it, well, but somebody will get it. Uh, there's a nice little book stall there. But anyway, I'm diversifying yet again. So uh, the idea of this sort of vlog is really is yes. Uh, I went out for and, and saw for myself yesterday uh, what was happening on the on the dealers' four courts, and um, it's very interesting to see that the used market still seems to be quite buoyant, and I think we shall see sort of families let's face it we're all struggling i mean you know we, we could we can i know some people aren't some people it's a, they're obli oblivious to the stuff that's you know cost has gone up you know if you've got good pensions and things like that and good payouts then you you know and you're in that area area then you're fine if you're not like myself you're not so fine so you know you, it is a hard hard um hard time um but I think what we're going to see is new sales are definitely going to be slow this year. And I think what's going to have to happen is dealers are going to have to, manufacturers are going to have to do something special for 2025 to sort of bring people in 
to but come and buy a new caravan and also probably to do something with the pricing. Uh, the new sprites are coming out for 2025 sound pretty good, um, but you shall have to see what, what happens. Anyway, I'm going to call off this vlog and I shall see you on the next one. Thank you for everybody that's been subscribing. All the comments have been coming on. The subscribers has just been phenomenal. And also we're 130, as I speak now, 130 views off, short of a million views since the channel began at the end of 2018. Uh, with just one or two videos on uh, into 2019 and obviously I've been building them up. So consequently... A big thank you for everybody who watches this this channel. Uh, I really do I mean that because um, you know sometimes a lot of stuff I do is not to what people are interested in. Um, but as, as far as I'm aware of, I do try and give people a genuine interest into you know the caravan, the history of the caravan, what's going on in the market, my ideas on new and unused tourists. Anyway, I'm going to go. Uh, my daughter's in the room on the phone. I don't know what she's doing, but she can never do anything quietly, uh, even talking on the phone. So I'm going to go, and um, I'm going to get back to it, and um, I shall see you on the next video. Thank you again for watching.